Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started mining Solana using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you start earning Solana and keep more of the Solana that you are out here mining here in 2024. So before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting started in the, the tutorial then. Overall, you can see here that crypto is down today. Total market cap, of course, of 3.25 trillion, which is very close to the all-time high for the total market cap, but that is still down about 1.8%. Leading that drop is, of course, Bitcoin down almost 3% to $94,304. So just a few days ago, we were getting close to a $100,000 Bitcoin, but it has pulled back a little bit. I don't think this is anything to be too concerned about, but it is just where we're at in crypto right now. But looking down just three spaces further to the number four spot is Solana, currently priced at $237, down about 4% today. Now, whether you think that 4% is a lot or not, Solana has a ton of activity going on right now. Um, so not only is it getting close to uh, you know breaking new all-time highs and all that, if we click into here, looking at the all uh you know you can see here it was 200 and roughly 58 dollars in the last bull run and just a few days ago we were up at the 255 you know depending on where you look uh you know right in that area so lots of really good news but overall just jumping back to the front of coin market cap here you can see they have this trending on deck scan which just shows different chains and the coins that are trending on them. Now, this is not exclusive to Solana, even though it looks like it may be. If you click into here, you can see that there are other chains and uh, pairs out there besides just Solana. Here's a wrapped Ethereum one, there's USDT. Um, now, why do I bring this up? Well, scrolling through here, you can see that the majority of these coins that are trending are Solana based. Now, whether or not you think these coins are good or not, they're on the Solana chain and fees are being used and paid in Solana for these coins to run, be traded, and have liquidity in their pools. So that I think all leads to the perfect storm for Solana going up in value. Now, down below in the description is a link to Unminable. So we are going to be taking a look at how to set up Unminable to mine Solana. Now, you may be thinking, you can't actually mine Solana, how is this video even real? Well, the way that Unminable works is it allows you to mine a profitable algorithm using your CPU or GPU, and they will convert whatever coin you're actually mining and pay you out in Solana. So just for example, if mining with the Kapow algorithm and earning Ravencoin is the best, most profitable algorithm for your computer, you'll mine Ravencoin and get paid out in Solana. So I always see the question of why can you, why are you mining this, but it's not actually a mineable coin, and that's why. So again, the link's down below. I recommend using that because it will save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which I'll get into in just a minute. But once you come over here, you'll select to get started with our wizard. I always recommend the basic version, but they do have an advanced option if you wanna go that path. Then you have your GPU or CPU option. I'm going to be following the GPU path, but if you are following along with a Windows-based CPU or you're looking to mine on a Mac, use the CPU option. Here's where you'll choose your algorithm. I'm going to continue with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. And if you're not sure what that is, I would recommend checking out whattomine.com. Enter in the GPU that you are planning to use to mine, and it will auto-calculate and tell you the best and most profitable algorithm. All you have to do then is come back and choose that one. As you can see here, there's a ton of coins here on Unminable. Feel free to choose whatever you're most interested in, but of course, I'm going to be going with Solana. 
Then all you have to do is paste in your Solana address. I do like to take a second to call out. Please double and triple check this. You can see if I delete this capital D at the end, nothing really changes, but if you add in a DE, so now this address is one extra letter too long, it does say, hey, you're wrong. Make sure that this is correct. But if you replace that with just a capital E, it says everything is all right. And we know I will not get paid out. So hate to see you set this up and do all the mining because this will work if you enter in the wrong address and then not be able to get paid. And the final step here before getting started with the mining software is a referral code. Now, if you use the link in the description below, you'll notice that my Bitcoin tips referral code already populated just like you saw on screen. And if you didn't use it, it is capital B, capital T, Bitcoin dash tips. I always recommend people use this because this code actually saves you 25% on your pool mining fee. So here on Unminable, they have a 1% fee, meaning if you mine 100 Solana coin, of course, you'd probably be pretty happy, but you'd be paying one of those coins to Unminable. It doesn't matter if the coin is $200 or $200,000. doesn't matter if you mine that in a day or in a year. You're always going to pay that one coin per hundred. If you use this code, it reduces it down to 0.75, meaning you get to keep an additional 0.25 coins for every hundred that you mine allowing you to build your holdings even faster. So feel free to use that code or continue without it and pay that higher fee. Now the final step here is downloading the miner to get started. I always recommend Gminer as it's compatible with both major GPU manufacturers and I've personally used it for many rigs, both Windows based and Linux based, and I've never had any issues. Not to say that any of these other ones are bad, but I always recommend Gminer. So you'll select download miner files, which will bring you to the GitHub where you just select this Windows 64 zip file, download this and extract it. If you don't extract those files, they will not work. So if you are getting an error right away when you double click the next file, that could be the reason why. Then what you're going to do is come back to Unminable and select download.bat file. This will download the file, but you can see that Google Chrome has said, hey, this is an unverified download, so we've blocked it. You will have to click this and select download unverified file. If you're not comfortable doing this, simply say delete from history. Unfortunately, you will have to move on to something else in crypto as there is really no way around this. It is just part of mining. If you're okay with that, go ahead and say download. Then what you're going to do is just take this file, drag and drop it into the folder with all of the files that you just extracted. So you can see I have my unminable SOL Kapow Gminer.bat. At this point, you are ready to start mining. All you have to do is double click this file to get started. As you can see here, I am now up and running mining Solana using my RTX 3070 in Windows 11 in less than 10 minutes. We are about eight minutes in on the timer and that included a few minutes of looking at CoinMarketCap and talking about Solana. So it is really that quick and easy to get set up running mining Solana here on Unminable. Now just a few final things I'd like to call out about mining with Unminable. When you start up the miner like you see here, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to start showing up here when you go under your addresses tab. That is completely normal. You may also notice that the uh, speed of your miner reported here in the CMD window is different than what's on the site. That's also normal. Over time, they will get closer to each other, but it's almost uh, you know, I, I almost never see it where the uh, speed here in CMD matches exactly what's set on the website, and that's totally normal as well. And on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and select the red X. Now, you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close out a window? That's the easy part. Well, here with Unminable, when you go to stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments here on the site for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. I don't really have a good explanation as to why this happens. I've personally seen payments come in 12 hours after stopping a miner, and the computer that was mining had been turned off and unplugged all night. So I know for sure that was not mining. 
Now I've seen the question of, hey, I've closed this window. Why am I still getting paid? Is it mining in the background? You can rest assured that as long as that CMD window is closed, you are no longer mining. It's just a little weird thing and I wouldn't be too upset because, hey, you're still getting free crypto even though you're not mining. So with that being said, that is how easy it is to get started mining here with Unminable for Solana. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips because it really does help out and allow us to provide these videos here for you, helping you on your journey to earn more cryptocurrency. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.